What is up everyone, I'm Banksy and for you guys today, we're going back to the super short tracking series and this race we got next for you is my favorite track of all time and I am very excited to get onto this track and hopefully do really, really dang them good. As you can see by the title, we're going to Martinsville Speedway. This by far is my favorite track. Like I said, I live like an hour and a half away from the track and so going here anytime I do go here is so much fun and I enjoy it to the team. Hopefully today's race will be fun to watch and I hope you do enjoy it. So please be sure to slap that like button as that is greatly appreciated. And uh, we're gonna hop onto the track. So I'll see you guys on it, in the car, getting strapped down, ready to go. Like a boss. My favorite track, here we go. Through the gears, let's get our Q-Lap done. Hopefully we get a good starting spot. Just don't hit the wall. That's so easy to rotate. The truck when the cold tires. There we go. B5, you're currently 0.1 off the latest pace. You've just oh. done 19.1. Now, man, we spun him around coming around the last corner. Still kept it straight, but. What gonna get faster? However, I did run a pretty dang good, good lap right there. 19.06.7. Y'all don't see it, unfortunately, but I ran a 19.06. So, not shabby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are now officially. Shut up, crew chief. We are officially here at Martinsville Speedway. Literally my favorite track in the world. And we are starting P5 in this race, which is gonna be fun. Hopefully we don't spin her out like we did in qualifying and we make it to the end. Like, hopefully we don't even have a linear situation again because that really put us in a bad spot. But we're looking good. We need at least top five out of this, preferably a win so that way our points can really get a good boost in the standings. Let's do what we can to try to get that lead, but this is gonna to be tough. If this is a tight, uh, top five here first got a 1901 and I'm fifth with a 1906 So pretty pretty tight top five here. This is gonna be I hope some good short track in here I'm looking forward to it and I'm also rocking a new paint scheme I thought I'd change it up a little bit put another style Dodge scheme on this car. So I'm gonna rock it out the Mopar Dodge Charger So we'll see how she does tonight. So Go around turn four is fired on boys. Green, green, green. Door by itself. Go there by itself. Door. Bumper. Go there. And clear. Great job. Help is out there. Not he's there. He is there. Go there. Go there to be there. Go there. Go there. Bumper. P four. Still right there in your door. Clear high, clear high. The leader's just done a 18.9. The car in front has just done a 18.9. P3. That's your best in the session. The guy behind has just done a 19.0. You've just done a 19.1. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're sitting P3, gained two spots on the start. They jumped it way earlier than I thought they were going to. And therefore, we gained two spots. Now, 
Definitely not showing some speed to the leaders right now. They are just two seconds out saying sayonara with their set of goodbyes and calling it a day right now. Now, when lap traffic comes into play, which it will, that's going to change the dynamic of things. So we'll see what happens there. Nine seconds to the lap, first lap car. We got guys behind me pushing, passing. And I'm just riding around like right now. We got 100 laps, eight complete so far. I made this race a little longer just because I like this track a lot. And I don't really get to race a green flag run on it very much. So the fact that I get to do that tonight is super exciting right now. Being that the official series don't like to run green flag runs, they always got cautions. This right here is where it's at. Good old true Martinsville style short track racing. I did notice this in my one of my laps that I checked. I ran a 1900, almost a dead even. It was like the second or third lap, and I was actually impressed with that, so. That lap time was 19.2. Okay, I did make some changes. Um, I did make some changes to the setup. I added a little bit of rear stagger to it to help rotate. And then I think I think that was about it, though, because I was going to change the gear ratio on this thing because I felt like it chipped out too soon. But now, now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, it's good to chip out early and then fade off so that way you still have good revs on exit so i mean we're holding up the guys behind me but they're really not getting any runs on me so we're just taking a lap at a time these two right here whew, they got they got the goodbyes on like i said man they they gone right now But, ow, wall there. Lap traffic will be an issue, I know for sure. So that's where we're going to make our time. I hope. I'd love to see tire wear come into play with these other drivers and not just me. I mean, obviously they do have tire wear, but I want to see it where either they pushed it too hard and started to fall back now or whatever, you know. That would be something cool. Is right. I mean, I am pushing the car a little bit just to make sure I stay in front of the guys behind me. But I'm not really, like, aggressively focusing and trying to put down the monster lap times here to gain time. Lap times are pretty consistent. It's just trying to maintain the car and keep it off the wall, too, at the same time. Oh, me. Come on, buddy. It just gets snappy loose off exit at times. And you really got to be careful about that. Tra transition from concrete to asphalt really upsets the car. Or could, you know, I'm not, I don't, I, I don't think it is right now, but because I'm now the more I look at it, it's concrete all the way through the exit. <laughs> I thought it quit sooner, so. so hard not to hit that curb. Here we go. Lap cars are coming up. Wilson is now in the lead. I right, got a new pass for the lead up front. Up. Right now, I'm just logging laps. Not much going on right now. Rather keep that way just to keep things smooth. Put some laps down. 20 laps in already. I tell you what, man. If people can just learn okay, that Josh, you stay green in a Martinsville race, 70 laps, five, 10 minutes tops. You know, you can get done with a race pretty dang quick here at this track if you race it out. The laps wind down quick. 20 second laps. I mean, 
That's cr it's nuts. Oh man, oh, my. we kind of spaced out back there. We've got obviously some cars still battling at alpha position and such, but it's not so tightly packed. So where if somebody loses a spot, they're not going to lose twenty of them. I mean, them late cars might have something for us. I'll tell you what. It's quite impressive for them to work through that field, but I still see them in, when I go in the corner. Alright, you can see the rubber really coming in too. That's something you don't normally see here, being that you always got cautions. And then plus, on top of everything, it's at night. I mean, dag up. Best time to race in Martinsville is at night. All right. This car is just so wide. I'm not used to it. Well, well judging the gap of how far I can drift up and get close to the wall. I try to keep it between that white line and the wall, but sometimes I judge it too wrong and smack it like that block this guy's attempt to try to make a pass because of my stupid mistake there we go good exit straight off the bottom it's where your speed's at uh, but don't hit the wall <laughs> oh me oh my come on buddy Ugh. your lap time was 19.6 thank you sir for that tad bit of information go to the inside of this guy that's one lap we're down Clear them? Yes, we did. Barely, but cleared them. All right, really, man, really checked up the center. This is okay. Okay. Cleared. I still see the leaders. They're on open ground right now. They worked through some traffic, but give it time. Give it time. 70 laps can go by quick, but uh, I think it's enough time to catch him. We'll see. That lap was at 19.5. The car is feeling a little snug on entry. Snug the center and then loose off, so just a little too loose off. But it, dri it drives all right, you know, if you know what you're doing. Being a baseline set up with a couple clicks on the stagger. All right, come on, buddy. Here we go, good run off the corner. So the thing about Martinsville, for those of you still learning the track, if you happen to come across this video, to never beat your car in front of you on entry. Yeah, you can do that. It works. And I'll do it myself. I mean, I shouldn't say never. Like right there. But <laughs> I just contradicted myself. But for the most part, when you try to get a run, or at least trying to make a pass on somebody, and you know you're faster, that's what makes Martinsville tough. Is you got to make sure you get that perfect run off the corner. And then get underneath them. Well, that five car, I don't know what his issue is, but all right. Trying to stop. Clear that. But you just want to make sure you're getting it on exit, and you, then you can pass them in the corner. 
Because diving it down without a run causes so many issues all the time. Look right there, I got a good run off the corner. Now granted, he's super slow down the straights. I'm gonna get straight exit off, there we go. But, I mean, that's how I've always raced Martinsville. It's never, it's try not to. Sometimes when the opportunity strikes, you wanna to try to get them on entry, obviously. Because then it messes them up and then you have a lane and then you can start battling for position but sometimes most times it's better i'll just wait until that perfect run off the corner but then again it's short track racing you do what you gotta do you know but just don't call stupid moves exactly what we need thank you i think we're catching second slowly I think I might need more time, but the, car, the tires are warmed up. It, it's it's losing a little grip on the front end, but the back end kind of helps rotate on exit, so I'm feeling a little bit more confident on exit. So we're showing a little bit more speed right now. slide up a little bit I mean I see the leaders just right up there man they're, they're so close I mean they're they're not close but they're close but yet far that makes any sense that last lap was at 19.6 uh, times dropped about half a second so it's just about normal Let's see if we run this upper lane right here kind of cut it down and get a straight exit off being that it's tight it's going to leave a door open for the guy behind me though but I don't know if I like it or not I'm going to stick to this bottom always been a fan of running the absolute bottom on this track which, I mean, it's obviously how you run the track, but some people like to run a half a lane up or a quarter of a lane up or something. But I, I just love hugging this this line right here the best I can. It's the way I've always raced it. Your last lap time was at 19.8. Oh, okay. I see the leaders, they're getting closer. However, they are going to get into open field here in a second. So, need more lap traffic. Just gotta get around these guys and start running them down. Oh. However, fourth and fifth and sixth are keeping tight. Oh, the See, for that example right there, he let the door open and I took it, kind of thing. So, I, that kind of situation, you can take it. It's just the, depends on what kind of situation you're in when you enter the corner and the guy in front of you's line's doing. So. Oops. That one's a really low entry. Still side by side. Truck temps increasing. It's now 87. All right, get rid of that guy. I mean, I see him. They're on, we're on the same straightaway now, so looking good. Get him cleared. All right, Josh. You're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. Just done a 19.7. Man, longest green flag run I can ever remember on Martinsville. It's happening right now. <laughs> well, I see the leaders. 2.8 seconds. We gained a full second on them. Come on, buddy. I need just a little bit more grip.
go. I'm just going to check up that straightaway. Outside, good job. Still going to be there, Thor. Oh, he's going to pinch me tight. You turn. Get on with it now. And you're going to race me hard, ain't you? Okay. Should clear him right here. Oh, there we go. Alright. 3.2 now. Losing a little bit of time. Gosh, it's going to be tough to catch him. They took off, man. The lap time was at 19.8. Oh, that's tough. This is tough. I love it, though. This is what I want, man, out of a Martinsville race. I want to be able to chase somebody down and be like, yeah, run that boy down four seconds back. Went through some lap traffic. I know they are a uh, helping factor, but still, I got to get through it, too. And I think they're racing side by side for position. Oh, good. It's a little too hot, a little too hot. We're still good, but yeah, they're racing side by side. They've been going back and forth for position this whole race. But once I stir up the picture here, stir up the pot, however you want to do it, but still got a lot of laps left. 40 to go here soon. Come on, buddy. Give me that speed. Shh. front end's just really lost it right now, but we can still make it work. Come on, buddy. That lap time was 19.8. It just wants to stop in the center. Or, I mean, I have to make it stop in the center to get it to rotate. So it's crazy. Right there, hello. No bueno. All right. Gosh, I just need a big pack of cars just holding them up. And I think this is coming up. I gotta go. Oh, left the door open. But he's going to get me back on the outside. Clear high. Let me clear you, you turd. Go right there at your door. <sighs> I see them. They're right there, dude. Go there. Not that was at 19.9. Go there. Pumper, pumper. There we go. But see, what's happening is that Brian, the three car behind me, is sticking close. So whenever I get underneath somebody to pass them, he just follows suit. I need him to lose ground to get caught behind somebody. Hurdy, please. Oh, shoot. A little high. High and dry right there. Whoop! Okay, there we go. Man, they are slicing through traffic like it's nothing, though. It's going to be extremely hard to catch him right now. Come on. You've just done a 19.7. Two cars racing side by side. That's what I do not need. I'm going to push them out of the way. Cleared them, good job, buddy. Thank you. Got to figure out something to gain a little, just a couple tenths, man. Last lap was 
lap time was at oh, oh, oh. nine. Didn't want to hit him. There we go. Oh. Out there, there. Still there. Still there. Still there. Still there. Ow, man. Tight. All clear. No run. That lap time was 19.8. There we go. Man, I just... Mm. I'm getting close, but it ain't enough, I don't think. Oh, my goodness. Come on now, man. We got, we got, we can do it. Thirty to go. That's right. Woo! What a run off that corner. Go there. Trying to pull you back, bumper, bumper. Still gonna be there. We're driving the wheels off this thing now, boys. It's time to get on with it. That last lap was at nineteen point seven. Come on. Second place, just right up ahead. Still on the outside of some turds. Oh. Come on. Get back on the gas. Come on. There he is. Second place really held up right now. The leader kind of passed the bunch on the inside. This car just kind of stuck on the outside. Giving me a little slight bit of hope. Oh, this is good. Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't hit the wall. A lot of cars to get through here, boys and girls, but that gum it. If they're in the way, they're out gonna get out of my way. I tell you that right now. Now this is second place. Right here, in front of me. Come out. Come out. Whoa, big checkup. What the world? Dang. Gummit, what are y'all checking up for on a straightaway like that? What are y'all checking up for? My gosh, about made it three wide going into that corner. Oh, oh no, 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 there by Come on. Try to get underneath this one car. Rick Wilson. Come on. Dang it. Can't clear them. I think we're going to get the one here at the 12. Pushes him up like he just did. However, the one with a huge run on the outside. Oh, no. Leader's pulling away. Oh, good grief. All right, I'm going to make it three wide if they don't get it going here. There we go. Now we're going. Now we're not going. Come on, Toya. What are you doing? All clear. All clear. Outside. Good job. I think it was the 12 last time I had issues with getting in the way. I can't remember. There we go. Martinsville at its finest, boys. Pop and run. Come on now. Oh no! You're clear, you're clear, oh no! What did I do? Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is good. Grief! Why do you do that? I'm clearing that. Oh. You're clear, you're clear. Oh, that's just wonderful. Caution's out now. Twenty to go. The car is destroyed. Crap, 26. man! What was that? All right, folks, we're back. I don't know what just happened, but it really put me in a salty mood, let me tell you. Yeah, I was doing so good, man. Now, we're sitting 18th, though, at the line. We're going to be at the line. So, and got fresh tires. 20 laps to go. I don't know what's about to happen, so I just... Oof, I don't even know what just happened, so let's go. Let's go, let's go. What are y'all doing? Come on, hit the gas. Oh, my goodness. 
I swear. Stop and go. Pass it on the inside. My butthole. Clear that son of a gun. I ain't dealing with that crap. The dude wouldn't go. And now we're on another restart. Oh my goodness. Let's get to the restart then. All right, folks, we're back again. Thankfully, they don't. we don't count cautions in this series, so I kind of like that because it, it ruins or it lets it be raced under green no matter what. That's what I wanted to get out of it. So let's try to get some spots here. We're P15 now. Let's try not to get a black flag again. Come on, let's go. Lego boys, we got we got some passing to do. Oh, we got a car up 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 three wide. Whoa! I saw that just a split second three wide. Ah, he went, he dove it in there. He wasn't gonna have three wide. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We'll try it again. Oh no, he really checked up. What the world? Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, we gotta go. Come on, I can do this, I can do this. Come on, buddy, come on. Plenty of laps left. Are we three? I don't think we are. Yeah, one, what? Just side by side. There we go. There we go. All right, come on. I'll be anxious to see what the heck happened because that went by so fast in that wreck I was in that I have no clue what really started it all. I know we were three wide, I think, for a second, and it closed. I can't remember. Three wide? Three wide? Oh, 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 oh. no, the back three backed out. Whoa! Oh, no, he didn't. All right, Josh. Next car is Raven. He fished it in the hole somehow. Got force three wide. Got about 50 horsepower right there. I'm gonna dive it in. This is the AI. Oh, what a comeback, ladies and gentlemen. Can it be done? I don't know. We got 10 to go at the line. We're back up to where we were, roughly. I'd like to finish further where we started. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to force it. Oh, he left the door open, though. We got tires. This is huge. I don't know why the AI won't pit for tires, though. It's like you got to run out of fuel in order to get tires. So let them be them, which is fine with me. I'll take the freshies. Oh, well, there. We're catching the leaders. Well, that was at 19.2. They gotta be running 19.5s and such, man. They cannot be running twos. Or can they? I have no idea. But anyway, we're gonna burn these good years off trying to get what we can. Come on, buddy. Whoop. It's too much racing. Oh, gosh. Come out. Okay, Josh. We're matching race pace. Well, I kind of hope we match race pace just because we got fresh good ears. Come on. At least, at least let me get third of all places. I'm barely catching them. Just need a few more laps, man. Just a few more laps. Catching them. That lap was at 19.1. The track temperature is increasing. It's now 83 Fahrenheit. 
Alright. You've just done it, 19.1. Like, I'm just flat throttling it off the corner, trying to get as much speed. The gap in front is now 0.7. I'm trying what I can to get this exit speed. Three to go at the line. That was a 19.3. There we go. It's going to be close. Oh, come on, buddy! Two to go. Two to go at the line. Can we get third? Back where we were. All right, this is it. Final lap. Can we get a run on them? Oh, this is going to get good. Look to the inside. He brake checked the front end. I don't know why. He just lets me go. Man, if I had 10 more laps. Oh, my goodness. If I just had 10 more laps, we would have had a chance for the lead. But I'll tell you what. I'll take a third place over a wrecked out car any day of the week. Oh man, what a comeback. Fortunate enough that the tires saved us. Watch your speed. Pull this thing into pits and we're gonna see what the heck happened on that wreck. Okay, so this is the replay of the wreck and this what is officially what just happened. So we're going in, I give, I give him a little shot because you know, short track racing, get out of my way. This guy's second place, I gotta go. Try to bump him out of the way, that didn't really work but check this out right here. So I do a crossover and it just turns him and then turns me straight up into the wall. They all checked up, made it through obviously. Now I'm trying to get back on track cause I didn't want to get through the pit lane and it just, obviously it's going to black flag me for that. So I was trying to clear that for doing that and didn't pay attention to boom. Killed the right front. But if we back it up here, though, I want to show y'all. Like, coming out of this corner, get a run. Get a better camera angle on that. See, right here, I was going to cross over, get underneath. I've done that before on certain tracks, and it worked just fine. I was going to, I was going to do it, be aggressive, all that fun stuff. But if we look at it from this angle, I'm going to get it right here. Look at this. So if I look at it from this angle, I was gonna do it, and when I did it, this guy, I'm, I'm gonna point this out too. That guy right there downshifted, therefore causing him to stutter at that point. I mean, you can see, you you can hear it too. Listen to listen to his downshift right here. Downshifts, straight off the corner. That downshift right there is what caused me to hit him. When it's all said and done, it took forever to get to that point, but that's what happened. Ah, fights. I would have had to win if we had 10 more laps, though. So.